What's up, everyone? Schnikes. Back. Back doing some more wrestling. I took a week off. I didn't want to play SVR 07 or any other game except for WWE 2K14. And it came out. I'm a little bit late on the uploads. I'm a, I'm a week behind. i um, not sure if this will go up on Monday or Tuesday because this is Sunday that I'm recording this. First opportunity. Eh, don't want to bother you guys. But I just want to take this opportunity to do a kind of first impression of the game slash universe preparation universe like what i did <laughs> for the universe mode and i just kind of put it together in one video and then i'll actually have the start of the universe mode so you don't have to sit through a bunch of blah 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 if you just want to jump straight to the action but if you're curious on my first thoughts over this game as soon as i i've been playing it for about a week i haven't played too many matches but i played it for about a week um played a little bit online if you followed uh my uh, my last weekend uh, live stream i played a little bit with uh, some some people in the in the, in my on my Twitch uh, stream, so we were chatting up and talking about it and playing it. But uh, well, let's just first get into well, my thoughts. I have I did turn on the accelerator, so I have unlocked everything without actually playing through the 30 years of WrestleMania. But I just wanted to look at the roster and and stuff. So I got here. I got the Ultimate Warrior because I pre-ordered this puppy, which means I did get it day one. I just haven't been able to play it. Uh, I'm pretty solid. Solid roster. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving Mast Kane. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't need the guy, but I like Goldberg in a game. He looks good. You put him there. You put Batista here. You put Ryback. Where you at? There's Ryback. Ryback, give me a smile, Ryback. Show off those sexy teeth, man. I'm surprised he didn't get those teeth trademarked. I don't know why you're in here. Why the hell David Otunga? Yeah, whatever. We got Undertaker and Undertaker and Kane and Kane and... Yeah, and why? Why? I don't know. Divas? Why? Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's cool. It's a good roster. It's a great roster. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mix up the universe uh, mode roster. Yeah, not like last time where I had uh, uh, one show was the past guys, the Attitude Era guys. One show was current era. I, mean, I mixed them all all together uh, in the creation suite. I didn't do much in terms of superstars. I made one new superstar just for kicks and giggles. I haven't done threads. I haven't really touched this too much. Uh, my biggest pet peeve with 13, WWE 13, is when I was doing the entrances and move sets, when I was mixing up Freaky Friday, it's still, it still, it, it would, back in that game, it would freeze on me. It'd give me a black screen or whatever, and the PlayStation completely go cold on me, and I have to, like, press the button to reset the PlayStation, hoping it would come back, and, uh, they did not fix that for this game. I don't know if it was ever a concern for them. Maybe I'm one of a few who gets it. I mentioned that on Twitter and somebody responded and said the exact same thing. So, you know, they also said drop the drop all your uh, uh, music that you have on your PlayStation, which I did. Hopefully that will work out better. But uh, from the Freaky Fridays that I recorded, I've had trouble switching, the, especially the entrances. Entrances were the worst. But, uh, but now everything, I recorded like three episodes of that and flipped it back and... Uh, hopefully it's fine. Uh, 30 years of WrestleMania. I haven't got into. I won't click on this because it'll probably load and take forever. I haven't got in. I haven't gotten too much into it. I played the first match on my live stream. Andre versus Big John Stud. Uh, if you were there at the live stream, a handful of you were, uh, then you know what happened. As soon as I beat that match, it froze on me. Hey, so it's not just in the creation. It's also in other places. So I had uh, 30 years of WrestleMania freeze on me. I had. Entrances freeze on me. I have new move sets freeze on me. I haven't touched uh, any of the other stuff. I plan on doing maybe like a championship, maybe a, an arena to put in my universe. But in WWE 13, I would have uh, glitches and freezing and stuff like that, and it was that was when that was bad when I started adding more created stuff into it. So I'm kind of hesitant. I'm throwing that in right away. You won't see created wrestlers and created belts and stuff right off the bat we're gonna use what they got but now that we're talking about universe let's hop into it show you what uh what i built so far oh don't look at that wow brock lesnar and goldberg right off the bat that's a good match uh so here i have for the mean this is this is kind of how it is meanwhile um i have main event on monday taboo tuesday on tuesday yeah, why not? No, I'm joking. Yeah, tab it Tuesday and Tuesday. And then I put NXT and <laughs> XFL. Why not? It's just funny. Because they have the big X's on it, and I put the NXT belts on there. 
So you have one full roster for this. This is a sub show, one full roster, sub show. You got a pay per view, Money in the Bank. So the Money in Bank winner can ha hold it for damn near a year. Um, WrestleMania just finished. I subbed one year just to see what would happen, what feuds would be made by the computer. And then I ended up dicking around for about a week. Uh, and then I completely changed the roster after that. So yeah, I played a little bit. Not, not too much of it, but I, I just clicked a little bit on it. Uh, so after that comes No Mercy, where well, we will show them No Mercy. Uh, Unforgiven, well, they will not be forgiven for the No Mercy they have shown after the money in the bank was possibly cashed in following WrestleMania. <laughs> extreme rules, well, the rules from Unforgiven will be made into extreme, and they will once again show them No Mercy if they still have money to afford less mercy than any mercy have, that has been shown continue SummerSlam is in august king of the ring comes after that so we're gonna have a king of the ring tournament and uh it will be the judgment day for the king or for the people of the ring that the king presides over <laughs> and they will not see any mercy and they will not be unforgiven or they wait no they will, will they won't be forgiven for they will be unforgiven at that the day of judgment <laughs> And let's see who survives. The Armageddon. And we'll rumble after that. West Side Story time. And uh, No Way Out. Uh, I don't think it's so much a, a, an Elimination Chamber. So much it's just like a cage in Hell in a Cell. Uh, maybe it's an Elimination Chamber. I don't really remember. Uh, and then, of course, after No Way Out is WrestleMania. Uh, yeah, so that's how it is for now. I may change it. What I plan on playing is, like, the rivalries from these... I won't play, like, every day, because my past series with 13, I got up to SummerSlam, because that took forever. And then I restarted the roster, and that took forever, and I didn't even get to WrestleMania before I just quit, because that game was buggy. Um, now I'm going to play, I'm going to do, like, one episode for Monday, one episode for Thursday. Uh, I don't know, if depends on if these have rivalries, but I might just drop them in general. I'm thinking of just canceling these shows. But I'm only going to do, like, one or two matches of the main rivalries. Hopefully, they'll show something interesting. If I choose to play it, I play the other matches just for myself, not to record. And uh, let's see. So, uh, let, we can go over the rosters. Uh, ooh, ooh, rosters. Rosters. Here's rosters. Um, Managed Superstar. So, as you can see, I mixed them up. So, I got Andre, I got Brock, and Brodus Clay, who's obviously teamed up with Tensai. There you are. We got Zach. Yo, uh, let's keep, the CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Darren Young. Uh, I thought I said Dar David Otunga. That's why I froze. I was like, what? No, Darren Young, Dean Ambrose, Goldberg, Hogan, Cena, Kane, Old School, uh, Art Roos, Orton Mysterio, Retro Rock, Reigns, Rollins, uh, Sergeant Slada, Sinakara, Tensei, Titus O'Neil, Triple H. Ultimate Warrior, who will no sell triple H. Yoko, Zuna, and Zack Ryder. Uh, that's for that. And I do have plans on moving them around. They're not permanent fixtures. Uh, sing like, for example, Sergeant Slaughter, I originally wanted on SmackDown, but I wanted to do a little feud with him, uh, with a raw guy. So, 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 so the roster can change. Like, here I got Del Rio, uh, Cesaro, Batista, Big Show, Old School Jericho, Rhodes... Sandow, Ziggy, uh, McIntyre, Slater, Swaga, JBL, Mahal, Gabriel, and uh, Kofi Kingston, Henry, Savage, Razor, Ramon, Rick, Frayer, Retro, <laughs> Ryback, Santino Marella, uh, Shawn Michaels, Old School, uh, blah, 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 Sheamus, DiBiase, and Wade Barrow. And then here I got um, four ladies that. I don't know if free agents means they could make a appearance. I remember last time in 13, I had a free agent, and she popped up on one of my little skits, one of my storylines. So free agent doesn't necessarily mean they won't be on, on they will or won't, I don't know, whatever. But inactive usually means not. So so here's the inactive ones. Screw it. <laughs> uh, I got some teams here. I just Corporation 2.0. Let's just name them bastards instead of the authority. It's Corporation 2.0. That's how it's going to be. You got the real Americans, and these are all subject to change as well. Primetime players. Uh, Team Skittles has returned from the grave. Uh, apparently, they're blue Skittles now. Blue and silver. Uh, tons of Funk 
and they are the champs. The Union! They returned. What? Yeah. So there, there are uh, only two for now. Perhaps they'll be greater in the future. Uh, we, we, we will see about that. There's 3MB, and they, they're the NXT champs. I think it's um, the two long-haired ones. <laughs> Whatever their names are. The Bank has returned! As soon as I saw JBL on that grumpy-ass face of his, I, I got to put that smirk next to his grumpy face. I got the, the Dorito and JBL. ADR and JBL. I got to figure out an, an acronym for the, those six letters. And then here we go. This is my favorite team of the game. Right here. Bago Dicks. So we got Dick Ryback and uh, Dick Batista, I guess you can. Or Douchebag Batista. Or, uh, I, I don't know. However you want to. Whatever nickname. Come up with a funny nickname. Butthole Batista. There you go. Dick Ryback and Butthole Batista. What happens when you put a dick and a butthole together? Oh, god damn it. I went there. I apologize to those sensitive ears in the audience. But anywho, that's what we're going with. What happens when you put a dick and a butthole together? You get a bag of dicks. That doesn't make any sense. But um, <laughs> that's my favorite tag team of this <laughs> game. And you got Team Africa. Hell yeah. Uh... <laughs> You know, one guy's from South Africa, one guy's from West Africa. So, F it. Team Africa. And I, I forget. I think these, these guys are on SmackDown, SmackDown, uh, SmackDown. Oh, NXT, excuse me. NXT, Raw, Raw, Raw? SmackDown? Raw. I don't know. Anywho. And, um, so yeah. Oh, nope, that's not. What else? Where, do I, where, do I, where else do I go? Uh, uh, WWE.com, this is crap from the past. Here's rivalries. I started a rivalry. As you see, here's John Cena, and this rivalry is Ziggler. My goal, in terms of rivalries, is... So at first, I have a plan. I, I wrote down, I have notes right here. Right. Uh, my notebook. I have notes. I have this all mapped out. I have a big old list of ideas. Literally, I wrote, ideas for WWE 2K14 universe, suck it. I didn't write suck it. I'm going to write suck it in there, but suck it. And um, the, I have a bunch of plans, and I kind of want the, like like I did with 13, I want the I want the game to do its thing. And it's programmed to make and break rivalries. I want to see what they do before I take over, before I say, uh, screw you game. I'm, so I'm not going to do special cutscenes. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to make it up as I go. If I see a team form, I'm going to make up a scenario why they did it. If I see a team break up or a team start fighting, if I see two people go at it, I'm going to say, Hey, you slapped my mama. He's like, Bitch, I didn't know that was your mama. I thought that was a, a bag of beef jerky. I like slapping beef jerky. And be like, Hey, my mama don't look like beef jerky. He's like, Your mama looks like beef jerky. And boom, they have a SummerSlam match. I'm in the mood for beef jerky now. Anywho, uh, but the only one I did want to do is I, I, I want to play out this scenario from the beginning. I want to make Super Cena and a Super Ziggler, let's say. That's why I got Ziggler here. So I'm going to call him a Zenith Ziggler. So Super Cena, which by the way, they call him Superman now on Raw, which is pure bullshit, but whatever. <laughs> It's like a spit in the face of everybody mocking him, calling him Super Cena. They're embracing it. But anywho, so what I'm doing is I got Super Cena. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make Cena fight five wrestlers. And one by one, he's going to take them out. But I think for the most part, they're going to have short feuds. Maybe they'll give them a medium feud. I don't know. Even a long feud. I'll do like two short, two mediums, one long. We're going to have long feuds with all these guys. And after, hopefully... I beat them all, one by one, I'm going to take something of them. I'm going to take a special, like a, maybe a signature, maybe a finisher, maybe a comeback. I'm going to drop his crap, and I'm going to make like the ultimate Super Cena. And then with Ziggler, I got five guys, short, medium, and long feuds. I am going to beat them, and I'm going to take their signatures and finishers and come back and make an ultimate Zenith Ziggler. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to put Super Cena versus Zenith Ziggler in some sort of cross-promotional NXT versus main event. Who has the better Super Soldier match of the ages? <laughs> I'm Frankenstein. Anywho, so that's what... So, and so now it begins. I, I chose uh, Sergeant Slaughter because Sergeant Slaughter is someone I want to put on NXT, so I figured... 
get him out the way now so I can move him over sooner. Um, but, uh, so then if I beat Sergeant Slaughter with John Cena, I will take, I don't know, Cobra Cl Clutch, let's pretend. That might not be the move, but whatever. I'll look at what he has, what, uh, Sergeant Slaughter has for his move sets, and I'll import one of those suckers on the John Cena. And, uh, same with Ziggler. I chose, uh, Razor Ramon, because I feel like, I'm about to, I'm about to pick five guys that almost, like, if you put them together would make John Cena, if you put them together would make Ziggler. So I'm starting off with Razor Ramon. Eh, because he's the bad guy. Yeah, and Ziggler's always, uh, Ziggler was a great bad guy. And he slicked back hair. Ziggler has slicked back hair. Why not? And, and Sergeant Slaughter, even though he's a Iraqi symp sympathetic mode, he is a patriot, and he always salutes. And John Cena is a patriot. He always salutes. And, that's, uh, and John Cena wishes he could be as patriotic as Sergeant Slaughter, because Sergeant Slaughter is a fucking G.I. Joe! He was in a cartoon! Are you in a cartoon, John Cena? Probably. You're probably in a cartoon. You're in a lot of TV shows. But screw you, Cena. Anywho, so that's it. That's, uh... <laughs> so I'm going to get into it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play those matches. Oh, Triple H, Hogan, Andre the Giant. <laughs> My God. Zack Ryder, Seth Rollins, not so much. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. Man, some good matches right off the bat. Um, and story options are all there. Uh, title, screw that. Jazz. Teams. Okay, so we got all we we went over all this, all this shenanigans. Um, yeah, uh, current rankings. Oh yeah, there you go. So Orton's the champion. D. Bry, he's number one contender. Um, and I there's no second place. There's no divas. I'm just going straight up. You have one belt or the tag belt. Done. That's it. That way, uh, a lot of a lot of belt action going around, and I don't spend too much episodes because I want to do like an NXT and then an Intercontinental match. Uh, so here NXT Savage. Oh wow, that's I didn't whoop, whoop, whoop. I didn't expect that. But okay, it's all good. I hope that Zig I'm I won't let Ziggler be the champ because I don't want the champion to be caught up in the either Ziggler or him. But there you got uh, 3MB and Bag of Dicks is number one contenders. Oh snap, Team Africa third place. Real Americans. Man, we, between Americans, Africans, and the uh, and the Union, we can have a really uh, an international. Incident here. Anywho, so no no sub stuff like that. Uh, screw the stats, and this is all boring crap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the the freaking computer gave Kane both the WWE title and the US championship. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, wow, the, the 2K14 really likes Kane. <laughs> Anywho, so I am done. That's a long ass. Oh, God damn it, I talked too much. Okay, I'm Shinarkis. I'm out. Enjoy. Enjoy what will be uh, 2K14's universe mode. I'm Shinikis, I'm out. Thank you.